Hi there, the Sultan of Silver here, and it's Rock and Roll Tuesday. And I don't like the shape of my beard, and I've been wearing printed t-shirts, and I've been seeing the words underneath my beard. And with white beards, the issue is that they become very, very see-through, because the hair is obviously clear with a white core. So I'm going to trim my beard, I'm going to show you what I do, my personal routine. I'm just out of the shower, I just put a shirt on, and... Uh, Let's get going. So I'm going to take a little bit of moisturizer, natural moisturizer, which is shea butter, and I put that on my face. Now you got to realize, I just dried off. That's all I did was dry off. I just messed up the hair. That's all I did. I don't use SPF because I don't. This is coconut oil and shea butter moisturizer. It's very little coconut oil, so even in the hottest weather, I'm not shiny and greasy. Okay. I'm happy with that. That works for me. Try my hands off. Now, as far as hair is concerned, uh, I got the short haircut. I'm just going to take a little bit of American Crew. I like the uh, molding clay. It's got kind of a silver, almost like silver, shiny things in it. It's not glitter, but I take no more than half, for my hair anyways, I take half of a fingernail, put it all through. Always put product all through your hair first. Just don't coat the top and, and create a helmet head for yourself. So for me, I groom, I don't part my hair, so to speak, I just kind of sweep it without doing comb over, but I try to do it naturally, and I bring the front up a little bit, and I'm not matting it down, my hair still moves, and that's what I like to do. That's good for me. With the uh, receding hairline and a little bit of thinning, at close to 60 years old, I'm doing okay, I'm happy. I didn't expect to have hair this long in my life. Just a big ass comb. Aren't you using a wood comb? How about combs with no seams? This is a big ass comb. I have every comb known to man being in the hair industry. All right, so when my beard was shorter, it pretty much, I, I liked a boxier look. Now that it's longer, I don't like the a long, boxy beard. To me, it looks weird. I want to create a more, uh, what's the word? Uh, a more natural looking beard. So, as you can see, it kind of grows. Um, natural beards kind of grow in this shape. So I had to cut it in the shape as if I never touched my beard. I should have prepared better for this video. But, uh, all right, um, I like using the Babyliss uh, blow dryers. With, they have Ferrari motors in them. They're pretty badass. I, use, I put it on warm and low, and I just go down without the concentrator for now. And I just kind of, I use those combs that God gave me. They're at the end of each hand. They're called your fingers. No oil or anything in it yet. Remember, heat plus tension equals direction. Turn off that fan so there's not two fans blowing. Now underneath, because this underneath stays really wet for a really long time, and it's in the 80s today, spring is here, so I'm just going like this, very lightly, I'm not pulling on it. What's interesting is, the hair that I've been shedding, as you can see, I do have some dark hair, and uh, there's a, like some there's residual black hair, <laughs> it's kind of funny, because the residual black hair is shedding. I'm not shedding white hair, I'm shedding black hair, which means that there's more white hair coming in, which I'm totally okay with. Now I'm switching to cool, 100% cool, and I'm just going to go full blast, like that. 
I'm not interested in heating up my skin. I did not use hot air. Never use hot air. Warm is good. All right, now, pull it down, pull it down, pull it down, pull it down. Plus it cools off your face. Blow the hair in the direction you want it to go. I don't want my hair going over my shoulder. I like it going down, cascading down the front of my chest. Side beard, okay? So that's the effect that I'm looking for. Obviously a more groomed version. This area here, right below my soul patch, stays wet. So I'm just kind of getting in there. I'm getting ready to go out tonight. So I want to create my look. I don't want to be surprised by anything. Okay, that's off. Big ass comb. And this is in a long line of beard grooming videos that have been hitting YouTube recently. So I've done this maybe three or four times already. So, but I thought I would just kind of fill that space. The market tells me that this, every change of season, that there's room for this. This is a, a Cricut comb. It's a stylus comb. Comb it straight down. All right, now, I'll show you what I'm gonna do. I just take jojoba oil. This is not a brand video, so I'd say about a dime, a dime. This is uh, black pepper oil, two drops, boom, boom. Now, being that it's hot out again, I like a more citrusy kind of thing. And citrus for a lot of people is orange and lemon. I love grapefruit. You saw me do this last summer. That's about five drops, two, three, four, five, six. Rub it in. Oh my God. For last year, I discovered that black pepper and grapefruit just smell great together. Underneath, section the beard, literally section it, grab some, pull it down, get it in there, section it, pull it down. Going in between your fingers doesn't get it all through your beard. I go to the ends, the rest on the tats. All right, big ass comb. underneath. Zero tangles, zero pulling. At this point, when the beard is this long, it can dry out because the hair towards the end is not receiving the oil that's being directly secreted from the oil glands. All right, big ass comb. Done. Uh, what's next? Shea butter. I get my shea butter at Whole Foods. I just take basically a fingernail worth, and this will be my balm. It's hard, like butter, and melt it in my hands. I happen to like it. Raw shea butter does have kind of a, a wild smell to it, but I'm good with that. And what this is doing I'm not looking for a hold. I am not looking for a hold at all. And what I mean by that is I, what I don't want is, I don't want a Marge Simpson beard in any form or fashion. I like hair on my head that moves. I cut hair. When I cut men and women's hair, I am not a glue it down kind of person. I like hair that moves. So there we go. When I do this, it flows like curtains blowing in a window. Or, um, you know, I would say like when you hang up a, like a dish towel on a dish rack and it just, I want my beard to do that. I don't want it to move up, like, like move up and down when I move. I want it to just kind of do its own thing. 
And when you get to this point, gravity is your beard's best friend. So the other thing is this, never, if you're gonna trim your beard, don't trim the sides. When it comes to a long beard, I'll tell you why. I want this hair here to be this long. If I'm trimming the sides, this hair is only gonna be like an inch, okay? So let the hair grow long, let it grow down. Gravity, gravity will create this look. Now, the look that I'm trying to create is, I used to have this boxy beard. Remember when my beard was about like this and then it just kind of grew down? I want to get away from boxy and I want more rounded. So I had to create that. That's what would happen if I never ever touched my beard. So let me just show you what I'm going to do. <clears throat> I'm going to take the Andis Masters. These are my favorite clippers. My dad has a pair of these that he had when he was working in the barber shop. And still, he still uses his Andis Masters to this day. I love these things. They're quiet. Now watch what I'm going to do. I'm not touching... Let me just show you something real quick. I'm not touching the length. I'm taking the corners off and I'm rounding it, but I'm not going above here. I, I have an arc that I'm interested in. This is the look that I want from here to here. I'm not trimming above here because I don't want to touch these hairs here. I just want the bottom shaped. That's all I want to do. <clears throat> so, the Sultan of Silver is going to be trimming his beard. It's easier to trim a long beard than it is a very, very short beard. I am the big beard expert in the world, actually. People travel from the world. 16 states and 5 countries to come see me. If you've tried to do this yourself, You've jacked it up. <laughs> All right, now, I'm going to stand far enough away from the camera so you see. I'm going in. I'm not taking anything off the length. I'm taking the hair that I can see. Now, I just got to shut up because the, the beard keeps changing as my jaw is moving. So just watch me now. I don't want to affect this length from here to here. I love that this hair grows down to here. If I did, let me turn this off. If I did one of these, these like beard sculpting, uh, you know, cheese wedge kind of videos, I'd be lifting my head up and I'd be tearing up on the sides and going underneath. I'm not doing that. I'm the, nat the big natural beard guy. That's what I like. Or as natural as like natural means you wouldn't even touch it. So this actually still is a styled beard. When it comes to the actual contests themselves, uh, my beard would be called styled, not natural. All right, now I lift my head up a little bit, and I see stuff popping out. I comb it down because you always have those ones that pop out an inch or so, and I'm just going in. You can just barely hear it, and I'm going to my shirt, which I'm going to have to blow the white whiskers off of. There we go. Now that's a shape that I really, excuse me, I got stuff dropping all over the place here. All right, that's a shape that I can live with. Now, I want to keep my beard nice and moisturize. So one of the things that I do is I put aloe in my beard. Cut the top off of this dog. I grow aloe. I have about 10 aloe plants. I cut off a leaf. I cut the sides off. This will last me two days, this little piece here. All right. I'm trying to do this without my glasses. So... And I don't want to do contacts because I don't want to be touching my eyes every day. So now I cut this leaf off, the top of the leaf. Now what I do is, can you see that right there? Now I just score it. I just score it. And the gel just starts pouring off of it. Now I scrape it a little bit. See, it's like snot almost. Can you see that? Okay. 
rub that in. And I like the aloe in my beard because it keeps it moist. Aloe attracts moisture. It's a beautiful thing and it's a wonderful grooming agent as well. Now I'm going to take what's left of this leaf, put it in the stash, keep that soft. I'll probably put on a little bit of oil tonight because it is Rock and Roll Tuesday and I'm going to have hot wings. So I need the oil as like a barrier. Does that make sense? That way, when I go into the men's room after I eat a dozen hot wings with red hot sauce, I'm not looking like Heath Ledger's Joker. And it comes right off. Now, alright, so my natural way of grooming my stash is I put on the concentrator nozzle, warm setting. You've seen me do this last summer. And I go to the side. Go to the side. I'm not doing hardcore handlebar. Put this right in the middle, watch. See that? Right in the middle. Blow hair in the direction you want it to go in. Now, cool, 100% cool. Heat plus tension equals direction, remember that? Do you need a blow dryer? No. My hair would be a little bit curlier and slightly, it would appear to be a little bit shorter if I didn't blow dry it. I don't have a, a very, uh, I don't have a strong curl in my hair anyways, it's pretty straight, but here we go. So, I'm thinking, should I handlebar it at all? Let's see. See that look? I trimmed off just enough the see-through stuff because I like a nice solid looking beard. I don't want a beard that you can see through. Like you shouldn't be seeing the Nike sign through my beard and you don't. So that's, that's kind of a neat thing. So I'm gonna take just, just a tiny bit of Shea butter and oil mixed right here. And I'm just going to kind of put it on the ends. Because I'm, all right, take, I want you to see what I'm doing up close. This is up close and personal. Tonight I want the mustache to be a little bit separate from the beard. So let's do that real quick. Dry my hands off. <clears throat> all right. Warm air only. Now watch. Use the finger as a curling iron. Cool shot. Cool shot. Hence the look where it's not full blown handlebar, but it is a little side swept and the corners of, of the stash are up. And I did trim the stash because I was tired of eating it. That's just my personal preference, which would disqualify me from any natural beard contest. This would be considered a styled beard. But my handlebar now is not, is not like out to here. I mean, I've had them when they're out to here. So, all right. So there you go. This is kind of like the, the spring beard look for me. It's a lighter beard. And when it's lighter, there's less hair, less weight on it, pulling it down. So it gets a little poofier. The curl gets it, the curl doesn't straighten out as much because of the heat. So... And that's my shape right there. That'll be my shape for the spring, now that we're into spring. And that's a style that I like. It works well with my new haircut. I like it. Let me give you the side view. 
All right. So for those of you that are growing a beard like this, that's the routine that I think is uh, healthy, comfortable, uh, natural, as natural as can be. And it just keeps the beard flowing, man. I just, I just like a nice flowing beard rather than a stiffer beard, which in warmer weather for me means I use less and less hold kind of products, less and less balm, and just more conditioning and softening kind of stuff. I hope that helps. I'm going to put some links below for... Uh, any of the products that I used. And I hope you have a great day. Peace.